as of 2018. Approximately 102 million miles of roads have been recorded worldwide. Most of these roads are newly built. But there are also many roads that stray off the beaten track. And require sturdy vehicles and experienced drivers to guide the way. Some roads are on steep cliffs, with multiple sharp turns. And some are surrounded by avalanche and earthquake risks. Some roads are dangerous. These roads are so difficult to cross. That the slightest misstep can put your life on the line. Let's see today's video. For the top 15 most extreme and thrilling roads in the world. Number 15. The Atlantic Road. The first stop on our list of extreme roads is the Atlantic Road in Norway. But. What makes this dangerous road so interesting? Although it may be one of the most dangerous roads in the world. It has also been named one of the most beautiful roads. So. If you want to sightsee on the Atlantic Road. You'd better fasten your seatbelts. This road in Norway is accompanied by storms. It is known as a dead end. Because of optical illusion. The road looks like a slope to the driver's eye. You can't see the road ahead when you drive on it. So you will have the illusion of access to the sky. When you reach the top. You'd better not look down. Unless you're trying to get over the fear of heights. The road will give you the illusion of falling now. But looking at the beauty of the Norwegian sea. Makes it all worth it. Here. It's not just your lunch you might lose. When the storm comes. The brutal waves will destroy the road. And take you into the sea. You will disappear with the waves into the depths of the sea. Number 14. The Cotahuasi Canyon Highway. The Cotahuasi Canyon Highway begins at the Pan American Highway near the city of Arequipa. The road, which was built through a canyon, is not paved with stones and cobbles in many places. The road surface is very uneven and often impedes traffic. Not to mention the possibility of rocks falling from the rock face at any moment. During the rainy season, the situation can become even worse. In fact, the road is very congested. It takes about 10 to 12 hours to it. This means that only the most firm and persistent travelers can reach the other side. Only four-wheel drive vehicles can cross the canyon. Even for those who love travel and adventure. This is a notorious road. Cotahuasi Canyon is the third deepest canyon in the world. It is twice as deep as the Grand Canyon. So it is a very long road. The Cotahuasi Canyon Highway is full of some of the world's most challenging and harrowing hairpin turns and dangerous descents. Don't think you can roll down your windows on a hot day to catch a breeze. 15,000 As the top of this extreme road is 15,000 feet above sea level, the air here is very thin. It is almost as difficult to breathe here as it is to drive cross here without worry. Number 13 the Taroko Gorge Road. Taroko Gorge Road is located in Taiwan. It is just under 12 miles long. Although the road is difficult and treacherous along the way. It also offers some of the most beautiful scenery in the world. The Taroko Gorge Road winds its way through the mountains. Despite the dangers. It has become a popular spot for the bravest visitors. When you see a large number of coaches, cars, scooters, bicycles, and even pedestrians crammed onto the same narrow stone road, don't be surprised. It's a bit scary to think about that people drive on the road full of tight corners and blind spots every day. Not only does the Taroko Gorge Road have narrow dead ends, but there is always the danger of rockfalls, floods, landslides and even earthquakes. Therefore, it will be a miracle if anyone can cross this 12-mile road unscathed. Uncontrollable natural disasters make it extremely difficult to keep the Taroko Gorge Road in good condition. Heavy rains and typhoons ravage the area, making some sections of the road almost impassable. Number 12. The Karakoram Highway. 
let the tourists travel on the 810 miles of road between China and Pakistan. The Karakoram Highway is considered to be the eighth wonder of the world, although motorways are often accompanied by beautiful scenery. This road is also a testament to the saying that in nature the more beautiful things are, the more dangerous they can be. The highest point on the Karakoram Highway is over 15,000 feet above sea level. Where the air is so thin. You can barely breathe. If that's not a challenge for you. There are also many landslides, rockfalls, floods, avalanches and steep cliffs. Despite the popularity of the route. It is a very painful journey. In fact. Much of the Karakoram Highway succeeds the ancient Silk Road, one of the most important trade routes in human history. It is understood. That the motorway was built in 1959. Approximately 1,000 workers died in the explosive blast and subsequent landslide during the construction process. In another accident. A driver took a sharp turn on the motorway too fast causing a bus to plunge into a ravine, killing 17 people. Just a month before that tragic incident, a tourist was killed by a landslide in his van. Number 11. The Ferry Meadow Road. Don't be fooled by its name. There's nothing sweet about this Ferry Meadow Road in Pakistan. This amazing and dangerous trail is just under 10 miles long. But the treacherous journey will make it the longest 10 miles of your life. The road conditions on Ferry Meadow Road are mostly unstable. 8000. This gravel road, which reaches an altitude of about 8000 yet that there are feet, is very dangerous. There are many tight turns in between. If you drive too fast, one mistake could bring your journey to a premature end. Yes. This is a beautiful landscape. But if your attention is focused on the view, you may forget that there are no guardrails here. There is nothing here to prevent vehicles from falling off the cliff. Ferry Meadow Road is not for the faint-hearted. The road starts from the Karakoram Highway and leads to the village of Tato. No vehicle larger than a jeep can be passed on it. Eventually it will extend to a very narrow area. The rest of the difficult journey can only be done on foot. Number 10. Tong Tian Avenue on Tianmen Mountain. We've all heard of the stairway to heaven. But this is the one with 99 turns. The 99 turns road in China is a terrific road through the Tianmen Mountain National Park. As its name implies. This extreme road features 99. Challenging bends. It is built hundreds of feet up in the air. The construction of this road took eight years. And was finally completed in 2006. But it is an interesting path. Because it succeeds in combining culture, history, and human creativity. To get to this road. You first need to drive up Tongqing Avenue or Tongtian Avenue. But the 99 bends of this extreme road are not random. In fact. They represent the nine palaces in the world of immortals. When you climb to the top, you will feel like you have reached the realm of the gods. It is worth mentioning that there is a natural rock archway on this road, which is thought to be the entrance to the world of the gods. Number 9. The Guoyang Tunnel Road. In the past, the only way to reach Wangyang village in China was a narrow and dangerous path. The trail is on the side of the Taihang Mountains. It may be a scenic route. But it's a long and arduous one. And one misstep can spell doom. Local villagers didn't wait for the government to help them make a new road. In 1972, a small group of people put their heads together and started digging a tunnel. Why would they go around the mountain? If they could just go through it. The group was small. With only 13 unassuming people. Although they wanted to complete the tunnel. These Guoyang people did not have excavators, bulldozers. Or any other modern tools as seemingly common as explosives. So the only thing they could do was dig with their bare hands. Yes. 
Right. It took 26 men five years. To dig this 1200 m long. 4265 m high. 5 and 4 m wide tunnel. So. The Guoyang Tunnel may not be the largest tunnel in the world. But considering how it was built. You have to pay tribute to the men who built it with their bare hands. During the most difficult phase of excavation. The team was only able to dig about 3 feet per day. The whole process was very difficult. And 3 people even died in it. Ultimately. This tunnel in the mountains has not only changed the lives of the villagers. And brought them easy access to the city. But it has also become a tourist attraction. Over the past decades. However, this tunnel lacks guardrails and street lights. So drivers need to take the risk. Especially at night. This is a very risky road. The locals aptly call it the road where mistakes are not tolerated. It is very dangerous. Number 8. The Pan American Highway. In itself. The Pan American Highway does not present the typical extreme road hazards. Such as sharp turns, steep cliff edges with long drops. Or unpaved sections. So what makes it so dangerous? It's the people. Most of the Pan American Highway is a general road. However. One section of the road is located in a contested area. The further you go, the greater your chances of encountering the local rebels. Mother Nature can bring unpredictable and unforgiving natural disasters. Sadly, the disasters that humans can bring are often in line with her. A number of travelers have been stopped by insurgents on the Pan American Highway, kidnapped and held for ransom. This can sometimes last for years. Some will be prisoners for the rest of their lives. If you must. Cross this highway. You'd better hit the gas hard. And not stop until you get where you need to go. Number 7. The Dalton Highway. Drivers preparing to hit the Dalton Highway in Alaska should pack as much as they can. Because within a 400 mile radius on this road. These is not a hospital, hotel, restaurant, or gas station. Most of the Dalton Highway is a dirt road. Made of gravel. Which makes it very dangerous. Especially in bad weather conditions. Driving on steep slopes can be difficult. It is not uncommon for cars to slide up and down the road. But that's not the only challenge on this road. This 400 mile stretch of land is barren and sparsely populated, with only a few wild animals crossing the road. Apart from the occasional travelers, you often have to choose between killing animals and sacrificing your own safety. But if you try to swerve to avoid them, this unpaved road can pose other risks. It is very difficult to drive on this road. Please do not speed on this road. In winter, the Dalton Highway can become very slippery. Even the most seasoned truck drivers will refuse to drive on it. Also, avalanches discourage drivers from the Dalton Highway. Number 6. The Amoryakutsk Highway. Siberia has historically been known as one of the most inhospitable regions on Earth. The people who live there are unquestionably indestructible. Although life there is hard enough, in fact getting there is a challenge. It is the extreme road known as the Road of Bones. The Amoryakutsk Highway will lead you to one of the coldest regions in the world. It is connected by two highways. The 504 and the 360 Lena Highway. Both highways present the same dangers. No matter how well they are maintained. The two highways are connected by an ice road on the river Lena. Which is, as its name suggests, a temporary road across the river. The road is open between December and April, when the ice on the river is thick enough to drive on. But there are no absolute rules. Unfortunately, dozens of people are killed every year on the Amoryakutsk Highway because their vehicles fall into unconsolidated ice. 
when visibility on this highway is at its lowest point. It is also the only time the ice road is open. To reach the frozen river road means crossing dangerous snow, which becomes even more difficult after heavy rain. When conditions on the highway get really bad, traffic jams can last for miles. Everyone hopes their vehicle doesn't get swallowed up in the mud. Number 5. The Zojira Road. The Zojira Road in India is the longest 5.5 miles of any traveler's life. This cliffside road reaches a staggering 11,500 feet above sea level. And there are no guard rails on the road. This extremely narrow road runs through the Himalayas, the highest mountain range in the world. And is unpaved. The risk of landslides is present along the entire road. Traffic signs also do not allow travelers to know what lies ahead. And which parts of the road are more vulnerable to natural disasters. The Zojira Road winds its way through rugged peaks. Connecting the town of Srinagar with the western Himalayan pastures. It is very dangerous. In winter. When the snow on this road reaches 50 feet thick. It is closed to traffic. High winds will make this road unsafe to pass. Fortunately, the road is less than 6 miles long. It was built in 1947. For military purposes, it is an important transport hub for Ladakh and Kashmir. During the winter months, it will be closed off from the world by stopping its passages. As you cross the Zojira Road, you will notice the overturned buses and wrecked cars that have failed to make it to the end of the road. Number 4. The Karnali Highway. Now we come to another part of the Himalayas in western Nepal. Here lies the dreaded Karnali Highway. The road is so rough. About 50 people die each year on the 155-mile highway. It seems that there is a god of death wandering here. Even when it's not monsoon season. This is one of the most dangerous roads in the world. Visibility is poor. Due to the dusty ground. When driving through narrow sections of road. The dust raised makes it difficult to see oncoming slopes, falling rocks, potholes, covered traps. And huge waterfalls falling from steep cliffs. It's really not a place for people with a bad heart. And is best avoided. This deadly highway is so gruesome that the police have even banned driving here at night due to the number of fatal accidents. In fact, 85% of the road is considered unsafe. Number 3. The North Wingas Road. If you find yourself driving in Bolivia and see the sign for the northernmost road, make sure you don't hesitate to turn around. This is known as the road of death. The youngest road in the north is just under 50 miles long. The road is located at an altitude of 15,200 feet above sea level. Which means the air here is so thin. It's almost impossible to breathe. Even if you have a good car engine. The near vertical descent of this one-way trail, which reaches 3,000 feet. Will take you straight down into the Amazon rainforest below. If the jungle below the cliff wasn't enough to hold you challenge freaks and thrill seekers back. Then take a look at the more than 200 tight hairpin bends on North Wingas Road. Good luck getting through these areas in dense fog. At the same time you will inevitably encounter various landslides and rockfalls. And please note. There are no guardrails here. Until 1994. Around 300 travelers died each year on this road of death. Various items were scattered. As people fell off the cliff into the gorge. Over time. The road has changed. It became a dual carriageway. To aid vehicular traffic. There are still many cyclists come from all over the world to challenge this road of death. Some of them fail. And fall down forever. Sometimes it's better not to challenge nature. Number 2. The Panji Road, Kilar. Let's go back to India for the penultimate item on our list. The Panji Road, Kilar. The road is 70 miles long. 
reaches a maximum elevation of 8,200 feet, and has no guardrails to prevent travelers from falling off the cliffs. The existence of this road is unbelievable. Unless you have a will of steel and expert driving skills, you'd better avoid this road. It's only open in summer, and is completely unpaved. Which means you'll have to drive extra slowly on the potholed, rock-strewn roads. These rocks have fallen from the mountain over the years, and may never be removed. But one 16-mile section in particular stands out. There is a striking rocky outcrop. It looks like it could collapse at any moment. The road was built by local villagers hundreds of years ago. Zero and has not been maintained. The road is only wide enough for a jeep. If you take one wrong step, you will plummet 2,000 feet down a vertical cliff. Number 1. The Skipper's Canyon Road. The Skipper's Canyon Road us in the mountains of New Zealand. Although open to motorists, the road is unpaved. It was built by hand over a hundred years ago by a group of miners. And is still as narrow and scary as ever. Just as it was years ago. Skipper's Canyon Road runs from the paved Cornet Peak Road to Skipper's Campground in just over 16 miles. The road crosses the frontage of the gorge. Above the swiftly flowing river. Today. This rocky road is most often used by tour buses. Drivers on this road must be very skilled and careful. Adventure companies want to give their guests excitement. If the vehicle leans, it will be the end of them. They will be buried at the bottom of the cliff. As there are no guardrails. Worse still, in some areas, the road can become too narrow, creating a blockage so that two vehicles traveling in opposite directions cannot pass at the same time. What will you do? When this happens, you or the driver on the other side will have to drive backwards on Skipper's Canyon Road until the road is wide enough. Despite its attractiveness, people lose their lives here every year. 185 people died here in 2021 alone.